then they told us the backstory of the rocks. It was like amazing. Um, so GeoCamp is bringing GNS scientists into the region of Pahiatua and Tararua. Um, they've learned that parts of the area they live in used to be underwater. They've learned that sea levels are rising and falling in different areas. They've learned about fault lines and they've learned that there's fault lines in, around this area too where they live and they've learned why they happen. Rural areas um, always have to travel. Students and parents and teachers always have to travel to take their students to other activities and events. For them to be able to be here locally is, is really, really cool. I've enjoyed looking at fault lines because it's really interesting about them and how far and fast they move. Getting mud samples from Foxton Beach, that was really fun doing the coring. Got to see the layers in the, in the mud. We have um, ground ice, um, floating ice, uh, land ice and we have land ice for lamp and we're just recording the rise of the water to see how much it has ro rose from the start and we're weighing the um, ice so we can see how much water contributes and the weight of it, sort of. Probably my favourite part has to be seeing how involved the students are, just seeing their faces light up and just get involved and them realising that what they're learning is really pertinent to their own lives. Oh, I've learned so, I've learned so much as well as learning what the kids have learned. I've learned how to implement this. I've been able to walk away in my, my science notebooks essentially become a lesson, lesson planning notebook because I'm jotting things down and it's helping me realise that I can do this in the classroom myself. Yeah.